think this is pretty crazy. We're not even four months into 2023, and earlier this year, four AI researchers left Google, and pretty much immediately after that, they wanted to start an AI company of their own, and pretty much immediately after that, they got a $100 million valuation. You know, some entrepreneurs, they have to fundraise for three to six months to get like a small amount of money, uh, especially if it's their seed round, like like this company, Mobius, like, it, like it's their seed round. And they have to fundraise for a long time. And Mobius, I think it took them, it took them two weeks. Let me just check. Yep, within about a week, two of Silicon Valley's top venture capital firms, Andreessen Horowitz and Index Ventures had swooped in with a funding offer. Uh, yeah, so a hundred million dollar valuation and they had just left their job. People are saying we're in an AI gold rush. It certainly seems that way. At least 50 companies in this batch at Y Combinator are focused on the space. And all these other big companies have just received billion dollar valuations. You know, I want to add the other crazy thing about this company receiving a $100 million valuation with no product. And I'm assuming these four AI researchers are not experienced operators is you will have experienced operators who have monthly recurring revenue, they have customers, and they go out on a grueling fundraising process to raise their seed round and they can't even do it even though they have customers and they're experienced and these guys just get 100 M. And what we're not talking about is so much more of a startup is just being smart. You have to actually know how to run a startup and how to get customers and how to manage employees. And that's why this is so especially crazy.